Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. こんにちは。今日は大根おろしのたっぷり入ったあったかい鍋料理です。Let's make だしストックポーダーみぞれ鍋。Soak the 昆布 in water for 30 minutes. Put the bonito flakes in the pot of 昆布 stock. Heat the pot at a medium heat. When the water starts to boil, remove the foam with a wire sieve. Reduce the heat to low and simmer the dashi stock for 5 minutes. Turn off the burner and strain the stock through the paper towel and wire sieve. You may substitute package dashi if kombu kelp and bonito flakes are not available. Squeeze out the remaining water from the bonito flakes in order to get a delicious rich dashi stock. Let's cut the ingredients for the mizore nabe. Slice the carrot into 5 quarter inch slices. Cut the carrot slices using a maple leaf cutter. Cut the long green onion into 6 one and a half inch pieces. Slice the rest diagonally into quarter inch slices. Chop off the stems of the shiitake mushrooms and make a cross shaped incision on each cap. Cut the base of the shimeji mushrooms. Tear the mushrooms into bite sized pieces. Cut the Japanese parsley into 3 inch pieces. Cut the silken tofu into 4 slices. Cut the kiri mochi in half. Shave a thin slice of yuzu peel and remove the white part of the rind. Cut the peel into fine strips and chop them into very fine pieces. Grate the daikon radish. Let's prepare the oysters. Add salt to the oysters. Gently mix the oysters in a quick manner. Take the bowl to the sink and rinse the oysters with running water. Put the oysters on a wire sieve and drain off the excess water. Submerge the wire sieve in the boiling water and gently stir the oysters with a set of saibashi. After around 10 seconds, the oysters will become round and you should quickly remove them. Let's prepare the salmon and the Pacific cod. Sprinkle salt on both sides of the fillet. Lightly press the salt into the fillets with your hands. Let it sit for 20 minutes until the surface becomes slightly wet. Rinse the fillets with a large amount of water to eliminate the fishy smell. Cover the fillets with paper towels and thoroughly wipe off the moisture. Slice the salmon fillet diagonally into four pieces. In the same way, slice the Pacific cod diagonally into four pieces and place them on a plate. Grate the ginger. Pour the ginger juice on the fillets and coat evenly. This process will completely eliminate the fishy smell and bring out the flavor of your fish. Add about a half inch of frying oil in a pan. Fry the kiri mochi at about 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Observe the bubbles and listen to the sizzling sound in order to get the right oil temperature. Make sure each side of the kiri mochi is evenly cooked. When the kiri mochi slightly inflates, remove and drain off the excess oil on a baking rack. Let's deep fry the salmon fillets first. 
Dip the fillets in potato starch until they are completely coated. Gently pat the fillet in order to remove the excess starch. Deep fry the salmon fillets at about 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Flip them over. When the salmon turns light brown, remove and drain on the baking rack with a paper towel. Next, let's deep fry the Pacific cod. Just like the salmon fillets, dip the fillets in potato starch and put the fillets in the frying oil. Flip them over. Like before, when the surfaces become light brown, remove and drain on a paper towel. Let's make the mizore nabe. Measure the dashi stock. And pour it into an earthen pot. Turn on the burner. When the stock starts to boil, add sake, mirin, salt, and uskuchi soy sauce. Stir with the saibashi. Add carrots, long green onions, shiitake, and shimeji mushrooms. Simmer for around 1 to 2 minutes and add in the grated daikon radish, silken tofu, deep fried salmon, Pacific cod. Kirimochi and oysters. When it comes to a boil, skim off the foam. Finally, add Japanese parsley on top. The daikon radish easily loses its nutrients, so be careful not to overcook. Here are my recommendations for additional seasonings. Serve the ingredients to a small bowl and enjoy the taste of the mizore nabe. After you finish the mizore nabe, you may add udon noodles to the soup. Add the dashi stock if the soup is reduced too much. You may also add a little uskuchi soy sauce and mirin to the soup to get the flavor that you would like. Add the udon noodles along with the long green onion. Loosen up the noodles with the saibashi. Serve the udon noodles with your favorite seasonings. A yuzu peel is the perfect condiment for udon noodles. Daikon roshi to agetta sakana to mochi ga tottemo yoku aimasu. This hot pot is always good to the last drop, and it will warm you up, especially when it is cold outside. Good luck in the kitchen! <laughs>